There's a phrase in the world of sales and it's you sell how you buy. So what implications does this have for your hiring process and why does it matter? This is an important question. I'm Scott Sullivan Bell, coming to you live from Sacramento, California on a perfect day to talk about sales and a perfect day to talk about you. And if you think about it, your buying style is your selling style or your how you sell is how you buy. So if you like to go out and you like to shop around and talk to a ton of people, you're going to allow that to happen in your sales process. Now, if you're a sales manager, this influences the way that you pick your salespeople. And I see this happen a lot and I see this frequently. And roughly 80% of the world of sales struggles because of this trend, because of this issue. And a lot of times what will happen is a company will find somebody who's a really nice person, a really genuinely good person, but the real deal is they can't sell. And because they can't sell, they typically turn them into a sales manager. And this is probably gonna hurt some feelings. I get that, right? My mom refers us to this as an asbestos underwear type conversation. I hope you brought your asbestos underwear. Well, what happens is companies have a people pleaser, really nice person, and there's nothing wrong with that except for as a manager, they tend to duplicate themselves. So if people sell how they buy, sales managers hire how they sell. And I really want you to think of how that can create some problems in the world of sales. So if you have an aggressive sales manager, typically aggressive sales managers hire a lot of aggressive salespeople. And you can find that you go to a sales floor, you talk to a sales team, you look at a sales team, you're like, wow, everybody's aggressive here. Not making a value judgment, it's just how they sell. Sometimes you walk into a building, you look around, you're like, why are there so many weak salespeople? I get it. It's because there's a weak sales manager. And once again, this isn't going to be like the friendly, like, hey, I want everybody to come hug me and love me and give me flowers and roses conversation. It's the real deal. Companies call me and say, hey, Scott, why, why is it that my, my sales team struggling? And I have to look and go, it's the sales manager. They're duplicating themselves. Nice guy would come and pick you up in the middle of the night if your car broke down, but really isn't the right guy to build a sales team because that's how he sells. So he like looks around and he's like, what am I comfortable with? What's the person that's gonna be the most comfortable for me? It's the same person that sells like I do. They duplicate themselves. And this happens more than you could imagine. This happens more than you know. So if you work for a company and you're top dog, you're the closer, you're the performer, you're looking around, you're like, why, why, why do we keep ending up with weak salespeople? Well, part of it is if you look at the manager, you could be like, got it, got it. And if you're a business owner, real conversation, the one that you gotta have, is if you're like, why can't my sales team perform? How come my sales team's not performing? Maybe you should look at the manager and say like, what's that buying style? What's that selling style like? And just like anything else, there's tons of different ways this can happen. You can have somebody that one day, really calm, easy buyer, you'd never be able to tell that on the next day, they're aggressive and they know how to close the deal, right? I'm not making a value judgment, I'm just saying that a lot of times, most sales managers have one, one sales style when they really need like five or seven. And so because of that, they find the salesperson that is just like them. Nice guy, nice girl, not a closer, okay? So if it's true that you sell how you buy, it also comes down to you hire how you sell. There you go. You got one thing to do from here, just one thing. Find the subscribe button, click on it. Every time I send out a video, you'll get an update. This is Scott Bell Consultant sent another fantastic video, probably from a cool location. Today I'm coming to you from Sacramento, California. I may, may have hurt some feelings today. We'll see you soon. Thanks for dropping by. Aloha.